Thank you, Axel Toss and Carpet. It has been a long time since I got to cast with you, and what Too better long. match than Vitality versus Complexity? I Gibbs called me out on saying that I don't use stats. Yeah, I think, who, who needs numbers? I think that's a gross exaggeration. <laughs> I was more saying you can't just rely on them, because if there's one thing we've learned between yesterday and today, everyone has nerves. Even if they've been here before, if they've been playing for years, this could be their fourth season, fifth season, ninth season, but the, for some reason they're still caving under pressure a bit, and we're seeing every first series no one's really playing 100%. Yeah, I mean, Europe is just that region that's always full of surprises. Mm -hmm. In North America, things generally play out how you think they're going to play out. NRG, Cloud9, G2, somewhere near the mm -hmm. top. But in Europe, we get surprised all the time. Like Method, now Complexity, they finished at number one in league play last season. No one's expecting that. The Leftovers, if you remember their incredible run How where they finished forget? top two in the world and automatically qualified for the world championship, another incredibly unexpected thing. So what we know from Europe is that, yes, you can't rely on the numbers. I mean, Excel <laughs> is a prime example. Yeah. Excel is a prime example. Everyone came in literally saying they're probably not going to win a single series, and what have they already done? They won, won a series. single series. Right they away. It was the first thing they did. <laughs> they were literally like, no, that is as wrong as possible. And we saw Complexity play a bit earlier. Obviously, you guys know I'm a big fan of their play style. I love watching. They're just a little bit unique. They have just enough to give to the pitch that not, uh, not a lot of other teams do. Mm -hmm. So I'm most excited to see how they do. But this is Fatality's first match in the RLCS. And, and we've seen and nerves plague everybody. Exactly. And Fairy Peak now has, has so much hype behind him. Gibbs and, uh, Gibbs and Shogun talking about how he's a top player in the world. So we'll see if Fairy Peak can live up to the hype here in the first game of the season for Vi Vitality. Now Metz touching that ball. Magnus just camped out on that pad for a little bit. Not sure if he ended up getting that full boost, but now a lot down there waiting. Something a lot likes to do is cherry pick. Score averaging two goals a game, getting Leaf X a ton of fantasy points so far. A lot. Just one of those players that likes to score. I believe that's the highest in the league so far. Two goals a game is pretty insane. We'll see if he can keep it up. Metz trying to keep control, but Freaky wins that out. No boost, but he's still going for the challenge. Ferry right there. Ferry off the corner. Gets a good pop, but I think Pashi was expecting an infield pass there. Had to retreat. Now Pashi in the center. Magnus prevents Ferry from getting a shot there. Now a lot's going to have some time. Goes for the pass to Metz. Metz <laughs> on target. Pashi keeps that out of net. This is where if they can keep the speed up, you'll see teams like Complexity really just dominate for about a minute at a time. But Vitality has the clears they need. Fair peak, mechanical, just as well as Pashi, Freaky. They're always there. Yeah, Pashi, that golden striker like Gibbs mentioned, had an amazing season last season. Putting a shot there. That one's turned wide. Demolish on the Fairy. See if that gives them a little bonus right here as they attack. Magnus trying to get that out into the middle. Pashi's following it up. Goes for the backboard play. It bounces straight down. Fooled Mets a lot. Missed. Fairy Peak up, but Magnus bails out complexity. When uh, the tactical whiffs come into play, no one expects you to miss it. Everyone's sitting and the waiting for that touch. Tactical. Fairy Peak. No one expects it twice, you know. <laughs> the first time's enough. Yeah, and then that, you know, just throw your team off, throw everyone off. <laughs> now a lot's gonna. Tr it looks like he was trying for a pass there, but he hit that right to Fairy Peak. And complexity is just one of those teams where, you know, obviously a lot of people say Magnus is the best, but they seem like they are greater than the sum of their parts. Mm -hmm. They are such a good team that's pretty much solely relying on chemistry. And Freaky had a shot chance there. Turn that aside. But opposed to teams like Vitality, where Fairy Peak is clearly that best player and people look to him to carry. When you look at teams that always rely on each other for the passing plays, I think it always makes teams think of you as a bigger threat because it's much harder to defend two and defend passing plays, especially if you know they can come out from any corner. Yeah, the, all than the it attack is vectors. Yeah, than it is to just defend a solo player. And Magnus got fooled there. Freaky got a piece of it. Pashi hitting the brakes, trying to get a shot in. So, relatively quiet start. We did see some chances for Vitality. Shogun mentioned them generating opportunities. Well, they have been generating opportunities. They just haven't been putting those opportunities on net. Now Pashi off the corner. Magnus with a pass into the middle. Metz is there with a shot, but Fairy Peak was there to meet it. Now, 
A lot and Magnus both commit to that, but they'll still be they'll still be fine. A lot chasing this one down with no boost. We'll see how he fares. Fairy Peak just taps it by him and Mets. Leaves it for Pashi. Pashi off the backboard. Freaky following it up. Can he get there? He gets the shot and it's off the crossbar. I guess the quota has not been met. <laughs> they got a couple more. They just want to hit it a couple more times. Now a lot into the corner. Following that one up. Magnus there to clean up. A lot tries to tap it down. Now Metz clearing it down. Trying to sustain this attack. Fairy Peak across the field. Freaky went for boost. That allows a lot to get the hit. Magnus off the backboard. Metz saw Freaky there. He laid off. Watch how distinct it is when these teams move from offense to defense. They all come up as a trio and on both sides of the pitch. The moment they get control, all three of them push up. They get that nice shot. It might be a little off target right now as they warm up, or it might be just a bit shy before a defender can get there. But they're always working as a team. That's just excellent positioning, keeping that pressure on, making sure their rotations are tight. And that's so key if you're going to play up like that. You have to make sure you don't get that double commit. Otherwise, you are left so vulnerable. Demolition. Offensive or defensive demolition. But still, we're scoreless. A chance potentially here. No fairy peak. Counterattack opportunity. Patchy's getting control. Goes for the flick. And a lot keeps it out. Magnus trying to make sure that his teammate's the next to touch it. Still 0-0, just seconds left. Here's a chance if a lot can get the shot in. He does get the shot, but not enough on it. Fairy Peak easily gets the save. And it looks like we'll have game one overtime. Renault Vitality and Complexity not able to score all the way into overtime. Relatively slow, I suppose, from both teams. Four shots for Vitality and six shots from complexity. So they're very close as far as the kind of pressure they're putting on. And it's a very similar style. One quick, fast attack. Oh, and that oh. mistake opens the door for Freaky. After that, after five minutes of fighting back and forth, this pinch dropping right above net. Metanaris couldn't get the read, and Freaky just had to patiently wait, hope for the mistake. And the hope was there as Vitality take the first game. Yeah, Metz, or who was that on the backboard? Metz or Magnus? I think it was Metz on the back, Magnus. Yeah, that was, that was a tough situation to yeah. be in for him because I think a lot did get a piece of that, and it, that pinch just launched it at his backboard. And in this day and age, you cannot allow that backboard to bounce. Well, you, can't, you cannot let that ball bounce off the backboard. Yeah. So he committed to it. Freaky just figured he was going to miss it and gave him space. I mean, there is that super unfortunate thing that happens in Rocket League sometimes that sometimes not contesting it is better because you don't let the pinch happen. There's always the chance of like two cars mashing together just adds that extra bit of like, I don't know where this is going. And also it's probably going to be five times faster than if I didn't approach yeah. this ball. That did not work in complexity's favor. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. Just that split second decision making. If that opponent's going to beat you to it just a little bit before, mm -hmm. depending on how your cars hit, you can judge that, but it takes a split second decision. So, you know, you can't really fault a lot for that ball. Mm -hmm. And it was a really tough, fast bounce. So, a lot to deal with. But Freaky just kept a cool head. When you're that attacker coming in, and you get to see the whole play developing, yeah. you can tell pretty quickly when a defender's going to miss it. So, no, no goals that entire game and then ending like that. So I still don't know who's the better team based off that game. I mean, just to speak to Vitality's composure, that no matter what was coming their way from complexity, no matter how quick or how strong their strikes were, they still were able to spread out, get the counterattacks just in return. We saw one or two crossbar hits that probably could have resulted in a goal. So if Vitality can fix mm -hmm. that situation, accuracy is the easiest thing to fix when you're at this level. It's everything else that's really hard. Well, we'll see if they can get that accuracy. Or a complexity bounces back and a good dunk there. Pashi almost getting a freebie. Now Magnus gearing up. Pashi missed that. Probably should have had that on the wall. But now Metz down, taking the shot, recognized nobody was home. And he takes the cake. A little more open than I'd expect so early on in this, but the demolition really helped him out for this. Pashi was so far out of position. There was still a pretty big gap from the timing of when the demo happened to when the shot occurred, but they were so spread out. They turned it around just as Vitality thought they had control, and that's where you can get the backfire of when you push up too quickly as a team. Yeah, and you said Pashi was out of position. That whole play could have been shut down had he gotten that block on the sidewall. So rough start for Vitality, but now Fairy Peak coming in with the shot. Metz and Magnus both going for that one. Good 50-50 for Magnus. Pashi steals that boost. But now Mets 
pushing it downfield. Freaky with a long clear. Fairy Peak's just going to wait. A lot hitting it off the wall into the middle. Pashi dropping it down, but Fairy Peak was just too far away. Now Magnus with a long clear. See how this complexity attack develops. A lot playing off of that one. Now he goes up to challenge, beats out Pashi. That ball's going to stay in the blue half, but Fairy going to go for this air dribble clear. Does get it by all those defenders. That's going to allow his teammates to get a lot of boost and try to go on the attack. I don't have you let Freaky going for that challenge. A whole lot of boost to not really move the ball much more in his favor than it was already going. A lot with the solo play over one, two dedicated to that. Now that double commit there did not end up punishing Vitality. Now Mets off the backboard. That's going to be a goal if Magnus gets there in time. He does. <laughs> Mets bouncing off the back wall and then giving it everything he's got to try and go for this. And then Ferry just Honestly, <laughs> just, just watching Mets, he's like, ah, please, let me that get was, there. Oh, that was so unlucky, though. You saw Ferry came in and actually got a piece of that. So yeah. Mets was trying to get that ball off the backboard into the middle. Ferry Peak accidentally did that for him. But that's what you get when you drive a flat car like the Batmobile. Just the strange things happen sometimes. Says the Merc abuser. Well, don't get me started on the Merc. <laughs> now is not the time. Two goal lead for Complexity after not scoring a single goal last game. Now Magnus off the corner. Barry gonna take his time in front of the net. Sometimes that can be dangerous. Now, long clear by Mets. A lot's gonna be chasing this one down. Pashi across the field. Ferry tried to get a piece of it, wasn't able to. Now a lot. Setting up Mets, and it looks like a little bit of confusion there. Both Mets and lot swerving towards and away from the wall. Now lot with a <laughs> shot. What a play from Complexity. This is the cherry picking that lot loves to do. You see he's in their half. He steals their boost. The moment that touch comes from Mets, look at the angle he came from and the pace he just held boost down the whole time. Yeah. I think he just taped it down during that entire section of the match. And that's one of those situations where if you're Fairy Peak, you think you're going to be able to get to this ball just fine. You don't expect a lot to be slamming that boost coming across like that. So the cherry picker a lot, living up to his name. Three goal lead for complexity, about half the game left to play. See if Vitality can bounce back. Freaky is going to hit that off the backboard. Pashi's there, and that's going to go right in. Immediate response from Vitality. So it seems that both the goals scored by Vitality have been on backboard mistakes yeah. from complexity. And yes, those are the hardest ones to touch. I will give them that. Both the ones that have come down their backboard. And not only the backboard too, but yeah, it's that sweet spot like yeah. you're talking about. That's that arcing corner. It's a nightmare. It's a sweet I spot if you're on offense. About it, Kirby. Yeah, it, it has kept me up late at night. Now a lot. Puts the ball out to Magnus. Magnus goes for the control play. Freaky up. Tries to bang that downfield. Magnus is right there to put it right back in the blue half. Pashi, perhaps he was trying to control it, but it bounced up. Now Metz is going to put this out into the middle. A lot. Off the backboard. Pashi leaves that for Freaky. A good touchdown from Freaky to Pashi. Pashi tried to pass that off the corner, but Magnus was 100% ready Freaky's for that. Freaky's so alone right now. Just off in a wilderness somewhere. Drove Playing underneath defense. to the subway underneath. <laughs> now Metz does a wave dash to try to beat Freaky, but Freaky got there in time. Now Pashi over to Ferry. Ferry going for the 50-50. He does win it. Now Metz has a little bit of time. And we've seen now Vitality hit this ball back into the orange half, but Complexity just retains that possession and puts the attack right back on Vitality. Vitality trying to get creative to go for the net, but right now Complexity has six saves. Six saves right now to the eight shots from Vitality. So you're looking at almost, you know, 100% of those on target are at least being saved. Oh, and that oh, oh, crossbar no! again! When will this quota be met? Not today. Shogun talked about their crossbar issues. I don't think there is a quota. I just think they hit the crossbar a lot. Now 30 seconds remaining, a two goal lead for complexity. Vitality trying to come back. Clear downfield. Fairy Peak with a long clear. Pashi 
decides to let Mets take the hit. Free Ferry up to Freaky. Freaky with a shot, but that's turned aside by a lot. There's no way that Vitality can come back from this one. Complexity after getting shut out. Game number one roars back with a 3-1 victory in game two. Eight saves on Complexity to the 10 shots from Vitality. That is kind of terrifying. Yeah. Well, that means that Vitality <laughs> are trying to get creative, and the only ones they can make it through are those sweet spot shots right in that top corner between the backboard and the ceiling, mm -hmm. which is kind of just infamously difficult for any defender, no matter how skilled you are. So is the situation that maybe are, are bumps going to have to come into play? Do you just remove defenders? Yeah. I mean, technically, it's really just Mets and Magnus they're having to deal with. I yeah, because a lot, a lot too, is usually playing upfield. You're right. Yeah, and and they haven't really been making those passing plays. I mean, both goals, like you're saying, came from just blasting it up yeah. off the that arced corner of the ceiling. And and you also bring up demos. Pashi, known for his physical play, we haven't really seen a ton of that. But yeah. I think what we have seen from Complexity is those infield passing plays. They they've got some. Uh, you remember the a lot shot. I yep. think it was Metzenaris that put it up to him and a lot just blazing across the field, getting that shot. We haven't seen anything like that from Vitality. What we have seen from them is crossbar shots. That is usually the worst kind of shots. Of all the shots I've taken, those are my least favorite. And when you talk about a lot coming in for that shot that I think who was it? You said it was Metzenaris. I think it was. I think it might have been Metz that took the pass. Either way, one of the other two. It's they're basically it's, the same person. That's yeah. Magnus, I mean. Magnanaris, I think <laughs> is the name we're going for. But the, it's where a lot came from that also made it so unexpected. Mm -hmm. For Vitality, a lot came from their own side, stealing their own boost when the ball was nowhere near their half. Why was he even there? I in mean, the do you remember seeing that ceiling shot he did last season? I can't forget it. I screamed. So about a it. lot, you just never know. You just assume he's everywhere. Now we're all tied up. Game number three. Complexity, Vitality, one to one in the series. Not a high-scoring affair for Vitality, even though they got the one win. Magnus going to chase this down. That was a big 50-50 win, and that's going to be a goal right off the bat for Complexity. The last defender trying to come up to contest this to close the gap. Fairy Peak even going Terrible. for the bump on Metzenaris and net. Fairy Peak was actually expecting that to be a shot from midfield. He bumped the defender on Complexity. And you saw their freaky accidentally side flipped. He needed yep. to flip forward into that ball, but instead he just matrixed around it. Another one? Oh. So Complexity off to a good start. Now Lot going to blast that off the backboard. Vitality a lot of time. We see a demo coming out from a lot. <laughs> he almost got a second one on Freaky. Over to Metz. Nope. Magnus instead. Now Pashi and leaving that one for Ferry rather. Ferry trying to go for that flick. Freaky and a lot challenging each other. A miss there by Magnus. That's going to put him on the attack. Vitality need one right now. And Ferry <laughs> looked like he tricked out that final defender for complexity. Now Mets taking a lot of time to go for that one. Magnus in net, maybe not a lot of boost. He left that there, double commit. Mets the only one left in net, but a lot relieving some pressure with a demo. And a pinch pass from Ferry, a good idea. But this complexity defense holding strong for now. This is a chance for Freaky, and he hits the crossbar yet again. Come on, it's so hard to watch. They keep starving them from boost. They have the chances. They are opening the spots on net for the shots, but they're all just, just a tad bit off target. An unbelievable amount of crossbar shots we've seen today. That trend continues. The one goal lead preserved right now for Complexity as a lot pushes it up the sign. Metz going to put that off the backboard. Ferry's there. Good pass up to Freaky. Freaky just hits it up. Thought he was giving away possession there, but it worked out a little bit. Freaky with a block. Magnus is going to be there. Now Freaky does get the hit. It's going to bounce into the middle. Freaky yet again. Hitting that off the backboard right to Metz, just giving up the possession. Back pass from Pashi, a shot from Ferry, and Freaky hit him the post! <laughs> Vitality oh finally gets God. that one in! They hit everything on the way to that goal, except the net itself. If this was racquetball, that would have been a penalty. That was every wall possible on the way into the net. 
but they're able to finally seal it. That's got to be at least a breath of fresh air that they're able to get over that hump of just crossbar city. Had they not game. scored, that would have been so tilting if your vitality just I, getting I so close. I would have called series yeah. almost. That's, <laughs> that's the end. So now we're all tied up. Vitality finally overcoming that complexity defense, but now Magnus forcing the issue. Ferry is going to pop that up in the air. Dangerous ball. A lot's coming in. Freaky does win that 50-50. Now he's going to chase it down, but he gets demoed by Metz. Matt's now going for this double tap, but Pashi make sure he doesn't get that ball played downfield. A skill you see a lot of players use nowadays is just monster clears and monster hits. And you'll see sometimes when you do that, you're giving up possession, right? Because now your teammate has to chase that down. He won't get there in time. But where it actually works out for complexity is that a lot is that he's so far up that the hardest hit ever is still not out of his reach. Yeah, exactly. And we've seen him score from the ceiling, score from the side anywhere. So such a threat. Now one minute, 30 seconds remaining. This game again, very low scoring. We've seen many, many opportunities for Vitality, but they still have only managed to get one in. Complexity, on the other hand, making the most of their chances. Ferry, getting that out, he's gonna follow it up. Gets it by Magnus, keeps possession, and full boost now. Leaves that ball up, but Metz is gonna beat out Freaky, putting Complexity on the attack. Only one left, two dedicated for that. And a lot stole that corner boost. Perry wins that 50-50, a lot with a bump there, a lot getting so physical, and that's gonna result in a Metzenaris goal. Again, these players can just turn it around so quickly. That first contest, Fairy Peak, I thought had control, but the bump followed up by the shot of Metzenaris smacking it off the backboard. And you mentioned that he stole boost, and I think that when yeah, you Freaky saw... Yeah, Freaky was out. Yeah, Freaky was out, and Pashi had to have been low because no one was on the backboard, and no one jumped up for that. So that boost-starving play, that aggression from a lot, opens up a chance for Metzenaris, and he grabs it. Now, under a minute left to go, complexity in the lead. Pashi. Getting beaten there by a lot, a lot, just trying to push this ball through. Gets another touch. Dangerous situation there. We'll see if Pashi can make something happen. Fairy Peak in the middle, waiting. Dodged a demo. But a lot pops it right by him. A chance for Freaky. Freaky putting the shot in. Magnus is there. Metz and Magnus, the two man defense is so hard to push through. Final 10 seconds, now or never. Fairy Peak hits it hard off the corner. A lot. Downfield hit. I don't think anyone from Vitality is going to get there in time. And complexity take game number three. They're looking at game point now. One more victory, and they will take the series against Vitality and be 2-0 their first week. And didn't didn't you? Uh, weren't, weren't you were talking to Gibbs on the desk about the power rankings? Yeah. And you didn't you put this team up near three? I would have liked to put them in the top three. I, I genuinely think. I mean, it's tough. And and I, there's a lot of con conversation as to. What does the off-season mean? What does the on-season mean? Some teams really don't show up a lot. You see Cloud9 taking a big break during the off-season. They really didn't do a lot of big tournaments. Complexity, really not showing the skill they've done. He talked about a lot's shot rate was like, what, 8% or something staggeringly low. Clearly, that's not the case. Clearly, he's on his on game now. I'd love to talk to them. Maybe they just really were kind of mentally on vacation. like, Or, or maybe they're just online warriors, you know? Like, they could last, be. last season, finished out 6-1, and one, surprising everybody, and now... They're on the brink of another good, very I mean, good start. They came second in World, so they can't be too much of online warriors. Well, that's true as well, but yeah. they also didn't have the greatest performances after yeah. that. But still, this complexity squad looking very good, and they're just being clinical. I'm, if you, you were watching the first series with Flipside, it wasn't that pretty of a series. Yeah. But complexity still just scored when they had the chances. And we've seen Vitality have many, many chances, but they just have not capitalized. I'd like to know what the actual conversion rate would be if, if Vitality had actually put everything that hit the crossbar, into net that hit the crossbar, what would the series have looked like? Slock, do your job. <laughs> but yes, I, do, that's that. I do think that the current meta really helps complexity, since a lot really does cheat up so far, farther than I think anybody does that I watch, um, that those really hard smacks don't put anyone out of reach, and sometimes I guess well, kick this is what this is what Vitality needed. They've been struggling to put anything in net, but still, this wasn't a team play. This was just. A 50-50 win by Freaky, pushing it in by himself. So Vitality, they'll take this goal on the kickoff, but 
if they want to win this series, they're going to have to start playing as a team, something complexity's been showing us how to do. Now Freaky. Gets it by a lot, a blasting clear. Magnus gonna push that up. Another demo from a lot, playing downfield, just hunting for those defenders in mid. I mean, he's playing that kind of awkward offensive defense. That going in, Fairy Peak will get there. But a lot downfield so much that he's just waiting for those defenders who are trying to make the play at midfield, and he's just taking them out of the game. And, and that can kill your momentum. It helps out as two defenders. I mean, Mets and Mogs are always playing two-man defense, but if a lot can relieve that pressure constantly by demoing that guy at midfield who's trying to take that boost and keep that pressure up, it's really going to help his teammates out. Especially if he can turn and be an outlet pass for that counterattack. Which he always is. It's now a minute in. That first kickoff goal being all that separates these two teams. Mets with a pop down there, a lot just flipping forward. He's going to leave that. Pashi with a chance for Ferry. Ferry missing his shot opportunity. We've seen him hit those. Now Magnus with a backflip gets a piece of it, but Pashi takes him out of the play. And then goes for a lot, just paves the way for Ferry Peak. Here it is, a little bit of vengeance. The bumping plays to give them a two goal lead here. A lot sitting in that Pashi. Just getting his back wheel. A lot almost recorrected himself to try and body that, but it doesn't matter. Fairy Peak will carry that in. Two goals in the lead for Vitality, 336. Yeah, and a lot was running away like a mailman chased by a dog right there. <laughs> yeah. I've actually never seen that. I think it's that's just an it's urban It's more legend. about the movies things. <laughs> yeah. Movie it's things. a pure <laughs> urban legend. But uh, we mentioned it. The bumps from Pashi, maybe that's what they needed. We saw it in full effect right there, and it resulted in a goal. See if Vitality can keep it going. A lot gets the hit. Bumped out of the way by Pashi, though. Pashi going right in front of Mets there. Threatening position. A lot putting a shot in. Rebound opportunity for Magnus. He throws a changeup off the crossbar and in. Look at the patience on this first touch. Watch him slow this down last second. And then he still gets the second <laughs> touch. What a monster. Magnus the monster. That really was something. He that slowed it so down. Cool. I thought he missed it. Yeah. Hitting the crossbar. That's always a nightmare because sometimes it'll hit the crossbar, bounce down, and then above the net. And that gives the defense time to come in and make the play. But somehow he managed to read that. And complexity right back in it. Now Magnus turning. A lot and Magnus right next to each other, so close. Magnus puts it up for a lot who puts a shot in. That was very close shadowing by a lot. Now Magnus off the wall, over to a lot. A lot beats out Pashi, and Freaky is there. Shot opportunities coming out now. A lot off the back wall allows complexity to keep possession here. Now Mets blasts it in. A drop by a lot. Magnus off the backboard. Mets coming in. Shot, not enough. Now a lot taps that down. Great pressure from Complexity right now. Just keeping the sustained attack. The pressure is great, but the defense from Vitality is just as strong. Always attacking these at two men at a time. They know they don't need to clear it right away. They're using the backboard to their advantage slowing down complexity since they know they're always looking for the pass. So you always have one person challenging it to force the move and the second one to actually change where it's going. But how long can this defense hold up? We've seen complexity launch shot after shot at this defense. It's just a matter of time unless Vitality can relieve some of this pressure a lot. Off that pass, he misses it. The miss was almost more threatening. <laughs> almost going for the tactical <laughs> fit whip. But now, a miss by Freaky, Not that great. opens up a lot, and finally the defense breaks for Vitality a lot. Evens it up for Complexity. Freaky with only 50 boost, Fairy Peak with nothing at all. Pashi, the only one that had quite a lot of boost, but he was in the corner trying to make sure he could cover all the angles. And that miss off the backboard, we've seen that plague this whole series. Mm -hmm. And now the game is tied at 114. Not much of an excuse for that one. We saw a miss when he had no boost, but needed to make that play a lot just being an amazing striker today. Good start for him. We'll see if they can hold off and pull out this win and start out 2-0 in the season.
Cherry Peak saved, but it's still in a risky place. Oh, oh throw, and it goes in! Magnus just taking the shot, taking matters into his own hands, and taking the lead for complexity. Pashi and Fairy Peak going for the first save, and then Pashi and Freaky going for the Ooh. second, neither having a good grasp of where that is, and all three players making some sort of small ritual. There has to be an insane shot differential. Because a complexity just launching in shot after shot, keeping possession, testing this defense time after time, Vitality is getting choked out. Complexity has 15 shots to, to Vitality's four. Oh my. Yep. 15 shots so far, but it's not over. Fairy Peak, what are you doing? The solo plays, you talked about it, James. How incredible this man can be dealing with this all alone. Gets Woo! underneath, gets a flick. Mets <laughs> and Moxis both staring at him. That was astonishing. They had plenty of boost to save that, too. He air rolled upside down, forward flip to launch that ball up. Such an unpredictable approach on that shot. That's going to throw the defense off. What a solo play from Barry Peak. He's been relatively quiet this series after getting hyped up so much by the desk. And a lot of people in the offseason, honestly, but there, that was a world-class shot. Approaching the final 10 seconds. Will we see overtime yet again? Freaky with a shot in. Magnus out. Pashi, this is going to bounce down. Fairy Peak Another gets one. it! Another nightmare bounce for complexity. <laughs> this is, I think, at least 60% of Vitality's goals have hit that sweet spot. A lot he pre-jumped in. He was hoping he could read it. He had the X, but not the Y. He was just a little bit too far. Oh. And that corner area of the ceiling just causing so much problems. We'll see if a zero second goal can happen for Complexity. Freaky is going to try to get a touch, and that's going to be it. Renault Vitality able to pull this one off. I surely thought Complexity was going to close out this series, but that solo play heroics from Fairy Peak to tie it up. If we could get another look at that, that would be amazing. Regardless, I'm going to go back and watch that Twitch clip. Do you remember what time in the game I said that Vitality only had four shots, and now look at how many they had when that time it ended. <laughs> They I'd have to seriously go. picked up the pace. Yeah, that, that was incredible. They put incredible. five shots on in like a minute. And this is something that maybe Pashi just has some magic fairy dust. Because is that a he fairy is, peak? Well, if you Pashi remember the, si the six goal or the two goals in six seconds that they did before, and here we have it. Look at this. This was the tying goal, or the winning goal rather, for Fairy Peak. That nightmare bounce off the ceiling. So that. Just incredible from him. And even the flick goal. That flick goal yeah. was something special. Especially because the defenders he was going against had one had full boost, one had 80. It's not like they had to slow down because they didn't have the boost. Fairy Peak recognized he had space, that both of them were on the goal line. And that's when you know, especially as a player that's as mechanically talented as Fairy Peak, it's like a field It's scary. It's He's scary. Like, especially, oh, let's do this. And even that Batmobile. Fairy Peak, he is an expert. And he the yep. Batmobile is his tool. I am scared of Fairy Peak. In the bat, the things he yeah. can do in that car, they're inhuman. We saw him towards the end of last season, especially going actually insane, especially at Worlds. And I'm glad to see that he's kept it through the off season. Seems to be carrying it through into the on season, which people don't like to call it that, but I think it's a cool phrase. And here we have it, the fifth and final game of the series. Can't Ferry Peaks heroics. Get them this win. Will they start playing as a team? Because even still, that win was a lot of solo effort. But they managed to pull off the W, and that's what counts. Now a lot up in the air. Passing that down into the middle. Metzenaris off the backboard. Freaky. No, he misses, but still not punished for it. Now Metz down the field a lot into the middle. Magnus racing towards it, but a little too far out of his reach. Not a great touch from Metz after he left it alone. Now Ferry into that corner. We saw such a demolition there by Magnus. Freaky was the only one in net. A lot's going to be patient with it. Push it through on the 50. Unfortunately, he had no boost to work with. But we've seen Complexity just sustain the attack in that last game. But they crumbled in the final seconds. Let's see how this game starts to shape up. Now Freaky, he's, or Fairy rather, he's going to be there and capitalize on that mistake. Look at how much horizontal distance this ball takes in like three bounces. 
goes from the left corner, straight into the middle, so they had to react quickly. Straight back left, straight back mid again. A lot getting caught off guard. He, he, he should have got there first. Yeah, he he should have had the read. But it is that is a tough read to do twice in a row. And just like that, I was I was about to write off Vitality. That momentum shift from that fairy goal still carrying through and a chance for fairy if he can get that shot. No. And there Freaky almost bullying that through. And still a chance for Vitality. Fairy's gonna blast that off the corner. Gets a second touch, dangerous ball. And still that allows his teammates to get boost so they can go on the attack. Great play by Fairy, just buying time. Opting for that backboard play there. Perhaps could have gone for the shot, but tried to make the team play instead. And Ferry missing there again. We've seen Ferry just miss contact on the ball a few times this series. He's going for some wild stuff, which makes it a lot harder for him to get consistent contact. But, you know, we've seen it from him before. All it takes is maybe one out of five, and it's going to catch everyone off guard. Magnus is going to e-break around. Leaves that for a lot, a lot, putting it in. Freaky hitting it along the corner. Magnus with a shot in, a lot, trying to get the tap there. Complexity on the attack. Freaky trying to relieve some pressure here. A lot is going to try to pass it on. And the drop shot right there by Magnus. The demolition onto net again. We've seen it so much already this season. This, this season, we've this seen so many. Season spectacular. <laughs> I'm getting so excited I can't handle my own <laughs> pronunciations. But hunting down that second defender, Pashi was the one to turn around. And we've seen the physical play pay off for Vitality last game. Now Complexity getting into it as well. We've seen a lot demoing all game. So demos playing a factor in the series. Or Shirish, depending on how you say it, Carpet. <laughs> it's a Shijin <laughs> and a Shirish. Yes, you're right. Now just two minutes left. Matt's going to try to get that into the middle. Freaky and easy ball for him to deal with. Very peak in midfield, just trying to hold off Magnus from going up for that, trying to bump him out. Again, the physical play. Freaky hits that up a lot, missing his read, but Magnus is there. A chance for Freaky if he can get that touch. It's going to go off the post, Freaky. Perhaps he had more time. He might have been able to just get back on the ground instead of staying up with his boost. He did have to react quickly, which is what made that so tough. But that's got to be devastating. That would have put them in such a great spot. A minute and a half to stop someone from scoring. They've done it before. They've done it all series. Oh, and that was such a tough situation for him. And a shot in. Very having to backflip. That Do was a close yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it looked like Freaky might have had time enough to boost towards the ground. The because once you hit the ground, you can adjust a lot, a lot more easily. But he just tried to boost right towards that one and put it off target. Close call. This whole series has been neck and neck. Now Magnus putting a shot off the crossbar, but a lot rather trying to get that out to Metz. The moment he lands that, we're all going to freak out. You know that, right? He's just going to sit on that backboard, drop it right down into a, right down to one of his teammates' I mean, hoods. I, unless this is scripted, I you know you know I don't think you can know that. Oh, that's true. So I think I put read that a script ahead. away. There's no such thing. <laughs> but now the final 30 seconds. 30 seconds left on the clock. Game five. We're poised for overtime unless one of these teams can put one in. Magnus Nine. putting that over towards Metz. Metz going for the demo. He gets it a lot. Getting beat out by Ferry. Now a chance for Pashi. He's going to follow it back up. Magnus with the clear. Freaky is there. Ferry Peak takes it rather. Gonna need a good clear from Metz. Freaky Metz up. Following, yeah. Time running out. One last chance. And that ball is gonna be kept up by a lot. And we have overtime. Game five. Golden goal. And it's gonna result in the series winner. Will either team slow down to play safe during this golden goal moment? Or will they just keep it up and try and outpace early on? See Magnus coming in, going for that shot, narrowly missing. And now Fairy Peak. Pushing the ball up the field a lot. Beats him out. He's going to chase this one down. Going to go for the 50-50. Doesn't get it. Mets going to go challenge. No, he lays off. Smart decision. Yep, that allowed him to win that ball there. Now Ferry Peak versus Mets. Gets it by Mets. Ferry 
Trying to keep it going. Freaky hits it downfield for Ferry. A lot. The clear up the side. Metz is going to get another touch. Complexity on the attack. A lot. Gets that block. He's looking for a defender. He makes Ferry peak jump in net. And now Metz. A touch up. Ferry's going to be there. Going for the backboard. Going for the double tap. Almost gets it. That would have been something for the highlight reel. Now Pashi. He's going to try to drop it down. Mind games one on the wall. But Magnus is there. Freaky in the middle. Metz. Keeping it out. Vitality. So close right now, but now the pressure relieved. Hard and that almost just going in. Scary moment there. Ferry had to react. Patchy on the backboard. A lot of boost used right there for Vitality. You know, the nerves out in full effect right now. One goal is going to determine the Mets. series winner. That second touch saved his team. A lot had just gotten demolished in net. And that second touch bought him time to respawn. Magnus clearing downfield. Pashi with a long hit. It's going to be a right to Metz, who puts it down. Ferry, perhaps going for a backboard clear. Does get a good one, but a lot cuts it off. Ferry turning around a lot, going for it. Double commit, dangerous spot. Magnus out to the middle. Metz is there, and a shot blocked by Ferry. Or Pashi. freaky. Pashi at the midfield. Wanted to turn that around, but a lot again. Retreating so quickly, keeping the boost. Left open in the mid. All backboard chance if Freaky can hit it. He drops it Metz. down and Metz is there. He's there again. <laughs> and with hardly any boost, got that ball out of danger. But the threat isn't over. Vitality still on the attack. And the shot in. Freaky's going to have some time to deal with. But what a scary moment for Complexity. They cannot slow down. If they let Vitality have this room, they will take advantage. Metz. It's going to flip forward. It doesn't look like he has any boost to work with. Just trying to buy some time. A lot is coming in. A shot. Freaky had to flip backwards for that one. Getting a bicycle hit. Now Freaky with the win at half. A lot. Putting it across the field. Magnus up. He does win that. Gets a second touch. A lot was there. And the ball bouncing all the way back. Almost had a triple tap off the ceiling and backboard. Metz trying to slow it down, give his team some time. Pashi and Ferry both in the corner. This is a hard clear. They're going to have to retreat quick. We are over three minutes, and I don't know why Complexity loves to play in overtimes this long. The sickness. If you remember their <laughs> overtime from the World Championship. Oh, we've got another long one right here. Oh, past the three minute, 30 second mark, a shot in. Oh. Dangerous, a demo coming out. Magnus is going to go up. Freaky buying his team time. Gently into the corner. Letting them respawn, get the boost. Another bump attempt from Magnus. But oh. Fairy Peak will dodge it. Counter attack and Pashi read this off the wall. He does, but Magnus, Magnus gets back in time. I can't believe Pashi got that angle too. He needed more power on it. Magnus just hustling back. Heroics by this complexity defense. And now we've passed four minutes of overtime. Approaching a full regulation game just in overtime. And jam-packed with action. Usually we see teams slow down, but these guys refuse. This is tough for Mets. He oh, doesn't and this get could it. be it. Freaky seals it for Vitality. They what? turn around game four and in game five, four minutes and 26 seconds, Freaky takes it. What a way to end it. The way we started it for Vitality, backboard Goal touches missed.